Hello, Mr. Horse. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to play guitar exercise 1.8 uh, in this video. And uh, so this is, you know, uh, the half point uh, in series one uh, of the guitar exercise. So, you know, eight uh, is half of 16. So I think it is a significant landmark. Okay, so 1.8. First ingredients, okay. So the first two notes is F sharp and A, that's a third. So all these are thirds, right? Going up to open a G and open B, right? The highest two notes are on the 13th and 14th fret, okay? So 10 thirds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So those are the, you know, notes, the ingredients. Okay. Uh, next is the pattern, okay? The pattern is, uh, it's gonna be two, three, two, one. Okay, uh, in this uh, exercise, you know, we, we, we start on uh, the second third, which is open G and open B. Okay. So that is the first. And then, you know, because we are ascending. This is the, the peak. Okay, so you know, I mean, we are climbing a mountain, right? And then repeat. Okay, so we are, so now we are at the peak, right? We are going to what? We're gonna go, we have to go down. You know, we have to go down the mountains, right? So, and the opposite. So, this is, as I said earlier, this is 10, on a 9, 8, right? So, the opposite of, you know, uh, of the first pattern is 9, down going down, 8, back to 9, and then 10. 9, 8, 9, 10. That's it, right? So, I think, you know, I mean, you, you kind of uh, notice that, you know, I usually, I think pretty much, you know, in every guitar uh, exercise, you know, I'll, I'll, you know, play the upward movement twice, right? With repeat to make sure, I mean, you really, you know, ha you know have the notes down well. And then, uh, I play backward also with the repeat. And then after that, I will play, you know, uh, the upward movement just once. And then, you know, I'm going down. And that's, and you know, that concludes, you know, the uh, guitar exercise. Okay, so anyways, a lot of movement here. Again, the, the most challenging part of the uh, uh, exercise is going to be on the high notes, right? Right? So, 
Okay, so I'll... Okay, try, you know, you can, to work on, to work on your left hand. A good practice is, you know, uh, using different right hand uh, finger pattern, you know, to play these same, you know, this, you know, these notes, you know, in the particular uh, pattern cycle, right? Because, you know, here, I mean, basically, I mean, they, they are the same. The, 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 you know, the left hand movement is the same. So if you use different right hand finger picking patterns, then you are, you know, working on the repetition of your right hand, right? Of your left hand, sorry, okay? And uh, so that's one benefit of, you know, of this practice using different, and, and, and the second benefit, of course, uh, obviously you're also working on, you know, different right hand, you know, uh, picking technique so you know it's it's good for both the right the left and the right it's good for everybody right it's not just you know good for any particular party right. you know what i mean party right? <laughs> Pretty simple forward. I mean, simple forward. No, not simple forward. I'm sorry. Straightforward. Okay. Straightforward is the right word. Okay. So apologize for using the wrong, you know, expression. Not simple forward. Well, it's simple and it's straightforward. I think that's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I mean, the movement of the, the left on the left hand is harder than the previous one. And not because you actually skip, I mean, you can say, you know, you can say I'm you know, skipping a uh, third, right? So that means, you know, moving more movement, the distance is, is more, right? It's farther. So, you know, that's going to uh, like increase the difficulty level. So it needs a lot more practice, you know, when, you, when you're jumping, jumping on the fingerboard. So anyway, that is 1.8. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.